My name is Glenda Baker with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, where I bring a little sparkle to Atlanta's real estate market. And today we are going to talk about how a listing goes live. And we are here with Kim and Kim runs all of the marketing for my listings and actually for the office. She's not only for me, which sadly I hate to say that. So Kim and I work together every single day on just about every piece of marketing that we put out, every piece that we put out. So it's kind of funny because Kim sees like the stick figures and like the big idea that I draw out and then she brings it to life. Yep. And so we have some templates that we've worked with for our marketing for our listings. And so Kim does the same thing for every single one. So we do a social media post and it talks a little bit about the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the garage. It talks a little bit about it obviously has my picture and then it typically has the agent that's going to hold it open or that's going to work with me on that listing. So um, this particular listing is um, an expired listing. Um, these people found me on the internet and we're going to do champagne and cupcakes at their house this weekend. And this is the social media post and everything is super consistent because what I want is that when you see it online, whether you see it on Zillow, whether you see it on Facebook, whether you see it through an MLS feed, I want it to all look very, very consistent. Um, we also do um, an open house, and this is a door knocker, what we call a door knocker. So we actually take these and drop them to the neighbors. So we do a little thing where we knock on the door, we wanna let you know that your neighbor's house is gonna be for sale, we're gonna be having an open house this Sunday. If you know of anybody in the neighborhood that wants to buy a house, please you know, tell them all about this listing. And so, but again, it's all really consistent. So, and it's front and back, uh, card stock. And again, we put everything here. So you're probably wondering like, wow, Glenda, that's like a huge gigantic blank right there. That looks a little bit silly. That's because that is where the words go. And the words are all curated by me. I'm the wordsmith, aren't I? You're so good at it. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, but I really have to be like in the mood to do the words. So it's not something that actually can be done like on demand. I really have to be like inspired. I have to like really feel the house, feel like what is the story that I'm trying to write. Kim and I developed a 10 things that you love about your home, um, little card that we give to the homeowner and the homeowner gives us 10 things that they love about the house. So that was something that we added, added to our marketing last year. And I think we're that, always adding. Yeah. Kim, Kim's like, we're always doing that, Glenda. <laughs> yeah, because for me, I think that it's super important um, to be consistent, but it's also super important to innovate yep. in the marketing. You gotta push your brand. Yeah, Kim partners with me on that and every single thing that we do. And then on every house that we have, we do um, a brochure where it opens. And on this particular property, I'm actually gonna do some um, before and afters. And the reason that we're gonna do some before and afters is because this is an expired listing. So on my social media content, you're gonna see before Glenda, after Glenda, because what I want people to see, buyers and sellers, is the way that we've done the digital footprint is so critical. Uh, we spent, had our stagers spend probably five days at this house um, getting it ready to be re-photographed, remarketed. And so that's been kind of, that's been huge for us. So I'm really, really excited. I'm wondering, cause I don't see any drones. Did we get any drones on this? There are a few drones on that. So I will add that to the back. Did you, did you love the drones or you didn't? I did not love the drones. Interesting. Cause I would have felt the drones on this particular house would have been, would have been awesome. What was it about the drones that you didn't like? Um, it's hard to articulate. Um, I don't. I didn't like just the landscape. I think was what threw uh, me off. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's winter and it was all brown. I think so. Huh. Interesting. So you're probably saying, well, hey, Glenda, haven't you seen the drones? Actually, I haven't seen the drones because um, so when Regis live with Regis and Kathy Lee were on the air, um, they never talked before they went out because it gave like a spontaneity to the conversation. So Kim had no idea she was gonna be in here with us today, number one. Um, number two, because I want it to be spontaneous. This is not scripted video, this is real life video. Um, and then the other thing is, 
is that when I'm putting together and curating the words and the story, I want to be able to look at it fresh and I want to be able to look at it in its totality. And so what I do is I go through and study the photos, but not until I'm ready to write the words because I want the content to be fresh and roll. So that's really, really important to me and that's kind of the way that I do it. And I don't know if that's the right way to do it. Well, it comes across as genuine that way. Yeah, and it work, kind of works for me. It's totally you. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so the only other thing that we will do on this is the postcard. Yep. So we'll do a postcard and the postcard will look actually pretty similar to this because again, we want it all to look very consistent. That's one thing about me that... The day I met you. Yeah. You told me this is how it is and don't change it because yeah. it works for me. Yeah, I'm just like you. Them, aren't know, I? You know what works. <laughs> yeah, and I know what I like and you know me a little bit now, but from a graphics designer perspective, what questions or what qualities do you see in me as a real estate agent that you think are different than you see from other people? The consistency, first of all. The fact that you have templates for everything, you've thought out every stage of, this, of the process, you have something for every stage of the process, and it's all branded, it's locked down, it's perfect. Oh. Wow, and we didn't even script that, y'all. I love that. Well, your stuff is easy to work on because of the templates and because you have good pictures and because you write such wonderful words for each property, it makes what I do fun and easy. That's interesting. I run my, my ship a little bit different. Yes, you do. Yeah, so Kim, how long have you been with us now? It will be a year at the end of March. So Kim came in, we, we had another graphics designer before Kim and she had some problems with her eyes and so she had to kind of retire. So it's, it's been, it was a learning curve, but I think that we've kind of, I think we've got it now. We, we, we've got it. Yeah. Hey, thanks for being here. Yeah. Always good to see you. You too. And thanks for your time and, and your talent. My pleasure. I couldn't do it without you. Well, it's my pleasure. Thanks dear. <laughs> Thank you. All right. See ya. All right. Bye. bye. So we've already had the photos. This is actually an expired listing. This client found me online. Um, they looked up amazing real estate agents in Marietta and my name happened to come up. So first off, what I like to do is I like to kind of look at the photos uh, that were taken before I come up with an inspiration of the story. We also have the 10 things that the seller loves about the house that we've had done. So I'm gonna look through that. I'm gonna look through the photos and I'm gonna curate the story. I'm gonna read the story aloud after I read it in my head because for me, I am an audible person. I really hear it better outside of my head than inside of my head. I always say the craziest place is inside your own head. So I always like to read the story out loud and I wanna hear how it's gonna to sound to the reader. Um, the first showing is actually online. So those words have to draw the consumer in. They have to get the consumer engaged. They have to get the, set, the consumer, the buyer, to fall in love with the house. So the professional photography, the floor plans, the drones, all of that is about, in the story, is getting them engaged. Because that's the first showing. So guys, it's, what I'm doing now is I'm kind of going through the photos and just critiquing them. So let me give you an example. So like right here, there's a van in that window. I don't like that. Look at that. I don't like that trash can under that desk. So I'm going through and I'm just making sure that it looks exactly the way I want it to look. Look at that van right there. Like that should have been, that should have been airbrushed out. That annoys me that it wasn't. Hello, this is Glenda. So I'm, I'm, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the previous listing. I wanna look at what that agent wrote. Number one, I wanna make sure that they didn't write something that I wasn't thinking of, that I missed. Um, you know, that they included something that, oh, I didn't even think about that, uh, which is typically not ever the case, but I just want to double check. Um, and then second, I'm really looking at it to make sure that I don't make the same mistakes. Um, because if the house didn't sell one time because of this, then 
recreating this is probably not a good idea. And like, this is the primary picture on this listing. So why in the world would you use this as your primary listing on a lakefront home on a cul-de-sac lot? Like, hello. So we're not gonna use that. Um, we're gonna use definitely one of the drone photos as our primary photo because that really encapsulates the cul-de-sac lot, the neighborhood feel, and the lakefront, which are the three main things for this house. All right, so stay tuned. So again, what we talked a little bit about was favorite things. So I take the favorite things that the seller put. I uh, come over here to a Word document. I paste those right there. I've now reviewed all of the pictures, so I'm really kind of like in that creative mood, creative juices. So now what I'll do is I'll curate the content for um, the brochures and all of the marketing and advertising, the description and MLS. And so that'll probably take me, so let's kind of think through. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys what time it is so that you have like a live, um, like a realistic timeline of how long it takes me. So right now it is 12.34 and um, Victoria is gonna take a little break. She, I'm gonna, while I, cause I can't really like be videoed while I'm like doing it cause I can't really think straight. I'm gonna curate the content and um, then she's gonna turn back on the video and I'm gonna tell you exactly what time it was. So then you have an idea of how long it took me and then I'm gonna read out loud to you the description that we wrote and see what you think about it. All right, see ya. Hey guys, welcome back. So I told you we would do like a little time thing to see how long it took me to curate the words for this particular listing. So it is now 1.08, so about 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes, I guess 33 minutes technically. Um, so I'm gonna read you the description and I can't wait for you to see what the listing looks like all done. Rare opportunity for a lakefront home on cul-de-sac lot in the Lassiter School District. Chimney Lakes offers an array of amenities, including Olympic-sized swimming pool, clubhouse, tennis courts, two scenic lakes, a gazebo and picnic area, hiking trails, outdoor sports areas, including basketball and volleyball courts, and two children's play areas. This home has been lovingly maintained by the original homeowner and features streaming natural light and reflections from the water that glisten through the large picture windows of this stately traditional. It's hard to believe you're in close-in East Cobb with a Roswell address as you watch the deer dance through the private lot. The deck is the perfect vantage point to take in the show of ducks and migratory birds. Enjoy a symphony of sounds, compliments of mother nature. The lake views are stunning and the layout lends itself to the setting. I'm in love with the screen porch and know that I would find myself immersed in the indoor, outdoor living spaces. The master bedroom features French doors overlooking the lake, private bath and walk-in closet. Four graciously sized secondary bedrooms upstairs. Finished terrace level includes workshop, art studio, and recreation room. That completes your life on the lake. So see, I want you to feel like you are living in the house when you hear these words, when you read these words of the descriptions. I don't need to tell you it has five bedrooms, three bathrooms, a living room and a dining room. All of that are in the fields, the pre-printed fields. You don't need me to tell you that in the description. I'm trying to get you to fall in love. This is the match.com of real estate and I want you to fall in love with the description. So when I write the description for my listings, I always think about like how I would write my description if I was on match.com trying to find a husband because I'm trying to find a family for this house. So that's just how it goes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little um, exercise in how we take a listing live. And I can't wait for you to see this new listing on Buttercup Way in Chimney Lakes going live today. See ya.